the most misunderstood word regarding Islam, it is the word jihad. It is not only misunderstood by the Muslims. Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny and Jesse. So today we're gonna do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I wanna thank you so much for being part of this family right here. You guys are really amazing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for hitting that notification bell. And whenever we post a video, you'll be the first person to watch. And also thank you for the people who've been giving us reaction after reaction after reaction. You guys are super amazing. So today, we're gonna do a reaction video. And this right there is Dr. Zaki Naik talking about jihad, the most misunderstood word. And uh, yeah, so let's see, let's see why is it misunderstood. So without any further ado, let's get it. Today, Unfortunately, Islam is the most misunderstood religion in the world. The religion which has the maximum misconception in the world today, it is Islam. And one of the reasons for these misconceptions about this religion, I would say, it is the media. Today we find in the international media, there is virulent propaganda regarding Islam. We find in the international newspapers, in the international magazine, on the radio broadcast stations, on the international satellite channels, on the internet, there is virulent propaganda regarding Islam. And the most misunderstood word regarding Islam, it is the word jihad. It is not only misunderstood by the Muslims, because of the media, it's also misunderstood by the non-Muslims. Today, most of the people, whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims, they think that any war fought by any Muslim for any reason, whether it be for personal gain, whether it be for name, whether it be for fame, whether it be for honor, whether it be for land, any war fought by any Muslim is called as jihad. Jihad does not mean any war fought by any Muslim for any reason. Jihad comes from the Arabic word jihada, which means to strive, which means to struggle. In the Islamic context, jihad means to strive and struggle against one's own evil inclination. Jihad also means to strive and struggle to make the society better. Jihad also means to strive and struggle against oppression. Jihad also means to strive and struggle in self-defense. So jihad basically means to strive and struggle. For example, if a student is striving and struggling to pass in the examination, in Arabic we say he's doing jihad. So jihad basically means to strive and struggle. Today, most of the Orientalists, they translate the word jihad as holy war. If you translate holy war into Arabic, it is harbu muqaddasa. And this word harbu muqaddasa appears nowhere in the Quran, nowhere in any things of the Prophet Muhammad This word holy war, if you go back into history, was first used for the Crusades. When the Crusaders, they forced people to accept the religion of Christianity by force. And unfortunately today, it is used for the Muslim than Islam. Well explained. Um, the world we live in today, especially um, how the media perceives people or perceives certain group of people or perceives um, just the way it sees or the way it uh, it covers is totally you know absurd you get my point for example let me not talk about like the islamic part of part of it the media has a role to play and the role is supposed to help the society see what is ahead of them or probably project um good things or maybe project an idea or project um any calamities, project um, uh, something that the society should avoid before it hits them. You see, you see it? such kind of things. But now the media has has turned into a into an an animal per se, because all they do is apply 
too much propaganda they apply falsehood they apply um, what they call um, there's even suppress information uh, they don't give out the truth as it is as it is expected to, to be given out the media has become a place of suppression or evildoers or whatnot they are perceiving an illusion to the society where when you watch something on television you think that that's exactly what is happening but in the actual sense probably that's not what is really happening you get my point for example let's say uh, for example cnn yeah cnn would want to come to africa and cover africa yeah record africa maybe try to cover uh, maybe to come up with a story well where is where will CNN first of all go to and what not you get my point they will try to show Africa as a poor continent so their target is targeting the slums uh, targeting uh, places that are not well off you get my point just to give that notion to the people who are of outside world or people who are abroad that Africa is a poor continent and people are dying out of anger, people are dying out of diseases and whatnot. But in the actual sense, Africa will live better lives. You get it? They don't go to the cities, they don't record the cities, they don't record places that are, you know, are well kept. They only focus on the dirtiest places and the, uh, the places that uh, can perceive an illusion to the outside world that's what I don't like about the media the same thing that it does to religion for example Islam for the longest period of time now I always thought of Islam is a religion of uh, fighting not peace there's no peace in Islam it's too much fighting because I keep on seeing news every day like the fighting in Syria Iraq you know all those places Yemen and whatnot so I'm like if this is a truly religion why 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 is it that people are just fighting each other why is this instead of just them staying in unity but again I came to realize that all these are orchestrated by the Western people and the media also because media is also part and parcel of um, that fraternity so they come up together spice it a little bit and then give give us uh, how we 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 want it. You get my point. So when we look at what they've displayed in front of our eyes, we tend to believe that. We tend to take it with a very big uh, pinch. You get my point. With a very big uh, with, with a grain with a big grain pinch of salt or something. I don't know if that's the word or what. So when we do that, um, we actually deceive ourselves because the whole time, like for example, me, I thought that Islam is a religion of no peace. You get my point? But as I grew up, I understood that there are people who are against a certain group of people or a certain group of religion or whatnot or blah 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 you get my point so i realized that in this world you need to acquire you need to acquire wisdom for you to start deciphering or decoding what is happening around the world but again when you look at the media you you, you realize that the media is just a product of 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 derailment a product of deceive you get my point so um Dr. Zaki Naike is actually trying to tell us that, I mean, jihad is is the most misunderstood word. Again, my point, and he has put it in the in the most efficient way that you could just understand. I'm just trying to tell you my my own opinion and what I think about uh, how people perceive situation and how people look at one particular situation and not try to look at other situation and try to come up with the truth again my point 
I mean, there are different type of stories. I mean, there are different sides of stories. There's this side and this side, and then now there's the truth with, which comes in the middle after deciphering or maybe decoding. I think we should try and do that because when we rely on the government or the media, they're gonna con and 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 they're gonna derail us when they make us watch the media all the time. They put our, low, our vibration low and we tend to have fear and whenever you have fear, you are easily controlled or you are easily manipulated. So I think a lot of things in this world have been misunderstood. So many things, so many things. Probably we were taught when we were young, but when you grow up, you realize that it has all been a lie. The whole time it has been a lie. But sometimes it becomes too late because we can't be in a position to rectify that because you've been programmed your entire life and for you to start uh, deprogramming yourself it's like starting over again from an older age going back looking like a baby when the baby is just pure and doesn't know what is happening at all. it's gonna take a lot of time so anyway uh, such a nice discussion over here anyway guys if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down my comment section tell me exactly what you feel about my reaction what you feel about this video and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel they might keep on subscribing they might give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least i'm gonna see you or rather i'm gonna see you in the next video and peace out